For many reasons, the ENGO Challenge is a unique initiative which aspires to create an ecosystem of ICT-enabled NGOs for good governance practices benefiting their own community. As the roles and functions of NGOs have significantly expanded in recent years, this initiative wishes to encourage the social entrepreneurs and recognize their best practices in digital inclusion in development sector. Apparently, to mark the final stage of selection of best practices, dedicated jury members are always at the helm of all the action. This is the ENGO, uh, an initiative of both the IR and uh, DEF uh, together, a result of uh, all the NGO outreach work that we are doing globally. The amazing work that is being done all over the country that I got to know of through this process. It was a truly an enriching experience. Though this is the first beginning with ENGO challenge, it was highly competitive selection process to guarantee that projects are selected for outstanding use of digital tools with creativity, excellence and proven social impact. There was such a display of diversity and variety, not just in terms of the subjects that were getting covered, everything from helping street dogs to uh, saving baby girls and uh, e-governance. And what was the highlight of the day was how nonprofits are really, really realizing the importance of ICT. This initiative aimed at identifying the most innovative grassroots projects that encourage intercultural exchange across the country. The award also represents a unique platform for civil society organizations committed to the promotion of cultural diversity and understanding. The fact that we were focused on grassroots NGOs and there was a whole bunch of NGOs that we haven't heard before. We saw grassroots NGOs who have started very, very recently but are using digital media to promote their work and also advocate their work. Uh, we had a very good round of discussions and I think there's a, the ENGO program will go a long way.